Welcome back, everybody, to Serene Queen TV. I'm your host, T. How are y'all doing today? This video, I'm going to talk about gender, sexuality, and black women. I'm going to talk a little bit about the Jezebel spirit, too. Please like, share, and subscribe, and, you know, let's chat it out in the comments. So, um, what prompted this video was this new song with Cardi B and Fendi the Rapper. Um, who they just came out with a song called Point Me To, and it's like really point me to the sluts. Yes, you heard me. Point me to the sluts, okay? I know, right? Insane. But I just was like, who is this chick? Because you know, I'm a Nicki fan, but um, and I know Nicki's not all the way innocent, but um, with, with you know, as far as the Illuminati bullshit, but when it comes to Cardi, you know, she be following up, following up behind everything Nikki do. So I was like, okay, so now she want to do features, but you got to do features with lesser artists or, you know, just, I don't know, like, yeah, lesser artists, <laughs> I'm gonna say, cause people really didn't even know who Fendi the rapper was. I didn't know who she was, you know, um, I knew about the girl with Pound Town, but, um, you know, and I, I didn't stop fucking with Lotto, but, um, yeah, I didn't know who this Fendi chick was. So I checked her out and I I was like, let me let, let me hear this, you know, because I like to be in the in the know about some of the new all of the new music, not not all of it, but a, some of it, a good amount of it because um I want to just hear what the culture is saying and um see where things are going because the music the the music will tell you again where the culture is at, people's emotions, um, people's thoughts, like, where kind of, so it's representative of where society is, like, so, oh, well, let me go check it out, oh my goodness, um, well, the course, the song was raunchy, like, I knew, I knew it would be, you know, but when I saw Fendi the Rapper, I was like, hmm, this is like another, um, gender fluid rap girl, you know, because let's see, I think we have Koi, and I know Koi is representing more feminine now, but that is part of her fluidity is because when she first was being marketed, um, she was masculine. She definitely was giving butch vibes. Um, and now, you know, they have her this, they've done things to like feminize her up, which I'm glad they have because Koi is attractive, but, um, and I like to see her looking pretty. Like, I like to see women looking like women anyway, just no matter who, no matter who she is or what she looks like, I like to see women looking like women. I like to see men looking like men. Like, that's just my preference. Um, but when I saw this girl, Fendi, I was like, okay, yeah, she looks like she's also giving this, uh, uh, gender fluid vibe. And she reminded me of that girl from LSU, Flo J, Flo J. I was like, okay, we have another one of them. And then we got Janelle Monet, And, you know, I'm like, oh, my goodness. Like, they are coming at the black community hard with this, you know, agenda. Because I feel like if they're not pushing us being sexually fluid lately and being us uh, still being kind of represented kind of in a masculine way, they're representing us still as whores and harlots. I.e. Megan Thee Stallion and Beyonce, Nikki. You know, Cardi, um, Lotto, Ice Spice, SZA, Summer Walker. The list goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Like, I could, I could sit here and I can name motherfuckers for days, okay? But I would have an easier time giving you just some of the people who I can name who are like, hmm, I'm noticing they're using these few people who are agents to push um, gender fluidity two black women on the low because i'm gonna talk about one of the harlots carisha young miami she is being used if you don't catch this psyop part of her being with diddy is to push black women to accept dating bisexual men because they've been trying to do that they've been trying to create this conversation that oh if you don't date bisexual men you're homophobic when everybody's allowed to have a preference right okay so, um, with Carisha being with Diddy, you know, because the industry got a lot of rich niggas, and I know Diddy is one of the richest, I get that, but Diddy is, we know Diddy, you know, we know how Diddy do, and so with her being, you know, booed up with him, it's definitely sending a signal like, on the, on the sub, uh, subconscious level that, yeah, it's cool if he bisexual, you know, and you know it, it's, you know, but he got a bag, 
you know, not just I'm fucking for a bag, but I'm cool with him even fucking other niggas on the side and other bitches on the side for a bag. You know, it's sending a lot of messages. It's sending I'll be a, I'll be a member of a harem for a bag. I will have a baby for a bag, you know, or I'll attempt to have a baby for a bag. It is. You know, so she- it's gonna it's like, okay, yeah, you can get with a rich nigga, but this rich nigga is abusive, bisexual, and um a multiple time baby daddy and he he he's not monogamous. He don't believe in marriage. Like it's just sending. He's like one of the worst of the worst. He just got a fat ass bag. She's pushing a lot of gender fluidity. She still is. She want to be called them. Lil Uzi want to be called them and they. And what are they doing? Like look at Janelle Monae. She went from you know kind of dressing again androgynous or whatever to now titties out all this other shit. They didn't. They making her a harlot. Beta sex kitten. It's really going on. And with Fendi the rapper, you know. They using this girl, and they got this gender fluidity shit going on. She is super small, like Koi. Um, they was doing that with another girl too, named Cody Shane. She was that. that that's some more shit. Like Cody Shane is similar to Koi Larae. I think they were trying to like use them both to see like who popped. They end up going with Koi, but Cody Shane is also like on this gender fluid shit. You know, I think she's a lesbian. You know, they pushing that. They you know Carisha and Megan hooking up and shit. They pushing that. And then again, now we got Fendi the rapper, another petite, slim, you know, lesbian woman rapping all hard, rapping like you know. You rapping about fucking bitches, you know, and then now up here with Cardi, Cardi B, you know, in the fucking song, just being all out, just, oh my goodness, you know, and again, I can't believe people even go on wax with this. She talking about being like T.I. and Tiny, and it's clearly, I'm like, see, this is, this is because you don't write your own shit. Because if you wrote your own shit, I would hope you wouldn't say no shit like that. But Jay-Z did talk about, you know, anime and cake fucking tragic assholes so you know Illuminati people are just trash but I'm just like you know Cardi like you really felt comfortable repeating that talking about T.I. and Tiny and just 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 deplorable lyrics deplorable it's crazy it's crazy the times we are in lord help but they got this girl, you know, Fendi looking just gender, gender mixed up. She's wearing a wig, makeup, but talking about fucking bitches and sounding masculine and looking like you don't know what she is. You don't know if it's a man in drag or a woman. That's kind of hard. Like, you don't know. And that's what they wanted. Like, they want you to not know who is who, what is what. That's part of the confusion and the backwards nature of it all. Crowleyan's magic is coming to life, magicking. His magic is magicking. So, it's a lot going on. I definitely feel like y'all gotta wake up because they are pushing black people into the LGBT agenda. Because if you even see the flag, the new L, the new LGBT flag got black people in it and it got the the um the pink and the blue and it's showing that everyone everyone because you know every it's inclusive all inclusive because they want it to wear they do want everything to be inclusive everyone to be inclusive if you get what I'm saying they want the they want us you know everybody to be on that type of time and that's why it's all about inclusivity and we see you and blah, blah, blah. Like the love is hiding behind. It's very, very dark shit hiding behind love and light. Pete Gang. Um, just like, you know, um, the BLM, Black Lesbian Marxist. Because Black Lives Matter, like Unplug em said, is very general. Very, very general. So please uh, wake up, you guys. The Black Lives Matter agenda is pushing lesbianism. It is. On the low, it is. And these, a lot of these rappers, you know, even Nicki and Ice Spice are pushing, are low-key pushing this lesbian agenda. Um, in the corn world, they're pushing, you know, uh, that on a lot of black women in the corn world, if you get what I'm putting down. Um, the Triple X um, arena, they're, you know, and th- those actors and actresses, they they're even pushed in that direction so it's a lot of psychological programming 
just like in corn, they're pushing incest and all type of stuff. It's a lot. It's a lot. Y'all got to wake up. So um, I really hate to see this psyop and this play ran on my black women, but this is what's going on. Y'all peep game. Let's talk in the comments. And, um, you know, y'all have a lovely day. Bye.